are back to first Lego League with the submerged season. Let's get into it. First Lego League has been a part of my life for a really long time. I've seen lots of great games and I've seen games that I personally have not enjoyed. But that doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy First Lego League because I think it's great. Now, I think this year's game is complicated because there's so many different things that you can do and you only have two and a half minutes. Now, some teams are gonna be able to do most things in two and a half minutes and other teams with some rookies on them or some other, thing, other constraints might not be able to do and you have to pick and choose what you wanna do but I think it's harder to pick and choose what you want to do this year than every other year. If you want to know about each and every individual mission, you can do a couple of different things. You can go to uh, the first YouTube channel, first Lego League Challenge YouTube channel. You can watch the game release video of Submerged and even better, read the robot game rulebook. You only have two and a half minutes to actually complete the tasks. I have some suggestions for you. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna label each mission model or each mission as a one, two, or three. A one, I think you ought to consider doing it. Pretty simple, straightforward stuff. A two, stuff that you should do next after you've completed the basics. And three, stuff that you should probably stay away from. Remember, first Lego League is not about how many points you can score. It's about what you learn and what you discover. So, as I'm going over this, keep in mind that points are good. Learning and discovering is better. The first one, I think every team should do this, is to collect everything that you can. Collect the krill. Collect the the samples, uh, the, the, the sample there, the sample there, the water sample there. Uh, and even if you need to, collect these guys along the way because you can always just push those back out of a home at the end or during another mission or something like that. Collect everything that you can in one swoop, maybe go around this way and get those and somehow get that sample and then come this way and get that sample and then come into, into home. Some, something like that, something, something like that. That's the first one. The next one is the shark. Get that guy home. However you get, however you have, that's pretty, pretty straightforward action with your robot, just pushing that lever down, letting the shark slide into the red launch home area. That's a one. The next one is pushing this in I wouldn't say that putting the coral tree up is a one. Uh, that's more of a two, maybe even a three. That's a pretty complex action uh, for a robot, but pushing this in is not. Next, I think you need to get the unknown sea creature. Just push that in and get that guy. He's pretty simple. I also think that getting one of the sonars spinning the yellow thing. I think getting one is a one. I think getting both of them is a two. If you have the time and the opportunity to do both of them, that's a two. I also think if you've taken the time to collect the krill, um, and maybe not all five, but you've gotten four of them, because that one's a little tough to get, then you can do the feeding of the whale pretty simply as well. That's a one. The angler fish, um, just pushing that in on, a, on driving by, pretty simple, pretty one, you know, just driving your robot by, boop, and easy, that's a one. Also a one is getting the mast up, maybe a ramp or something to lift that mast up with your ro uh, robot driving by, or some sort of something that lifts that up a nice, easy, gentle way um, that's not gonna break the mission model, that's a one. The next one 
is pushing this thing in. Boop. And at the end of the match, pushing your lever up here on the shared mission to get that yellow lever down, that's a must. And if you do at the end of the match, then maybe the submarine will be on that side. And you know, that's helpful to score points for you. Okay, let's talk about another two. Getting the samples in this boat scores you points. Whether the boat is over there or right here, if the samples are in the boat, they still score points. Again, if you wanna know how many points, look in your rule book, look online. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you, you can look that up. But getting your samples, the trident, the treasure box, uh, any of that sample, that sample, that sample, in this boat scores you points. That's a two. If you have time, you can do that. If this boat is over here and in the latched, uh, yellow latch, then that scores you more points for the boat, but not for the samples. I think moving the boat from here to here is a three. I would stay away from it. That's just a time uh, sucker that you don't need to do. The other thing that I think is a three is the crabs. Now, yes, you can come flip that, flip that, flip that, flip that, and voila, you got all four crabs. That's 40 points, way to go. But if you don't have time to do this, don't stress about it. It's not worth the points. You're, you can get points somewhere else. Getting the treasure box, I think, is a little bit easier. Getting your robot in there to get that treasure box. Uh, if that's something that you'd like to do, you know, great. I, I suggest that you go for it. But however, I think it's a three. I think there's points that you can score with that. And obviously there's, there, there's plenty of opportunity to get it into the boat to score even more points with that treasure box. But I think it's a three. The trident, getting that trident, I, it's, it's a three. I don't know how else to put it. It's just, it's just very complex. And yes, you can pull down on this and get it and be very precise. But to be precise and consistent, um, getting that, it just seems like it is a lot of complexities asking to be gone wrong and not work very consistently. Getting the treasure box, so I think is a little bit easier. The shipping lanes, it's hard to do with a finger, let alone a robot. Yes, you can lift it up, but we're humans. We are very, very uh, good. We're very, very good at using our hands. Now, a robot, uh, I don't know. I'd stay away from it. It's a three. There's some other things that I didn't cover, like getting the shark over here and getting the octopus uh, or the unknown sea creature uh, over that circle right there and getting some other things some other places. Now, those are all great. And if you have time, do them, yes. But remember, I know that's a lot and I talked really fast. But it's a good thing about a video. You can rewind and watch it again. If you are a team like I mentor my teams and you're using a mini light or a mini max or something similar that to, to that, then you know these strategies or these numbers might help you out as to what to target to do. But what you need to do is what figures it, oh. But what you need to do is you need to figure out what you are consistent in and do those missions. A mission should work about five times in a row before you even consider it done. You need to be not only, the missions that you complete need to be com completed consistently. Completed consistently. In order to be successful at first Lego League in the robot game, you need to be consistently good at what your robot does. That doesn't mean I didn't say everything on the mission map. You need to be consistently good at what your robot does. If you can score 100 points every single time, awesome. If you can score 200 points every single time, awesome. If you can score 400 points every single time, 
awesome. Wherever you're at in between, awesome. You're doing it. I'm proud of you. But just be consistent. Now, there are going to be some other videos coming out that I talk about individual missions. Keep in tune for those. Until then, happy first Lego ligging, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, oh, wait, wait. If you, if you want to, just subscribe to the channel, like the video. It helps push it out, you know, and, and makes first Lego league bigger, which is what I like. I like to see you doing this. See you soon. Oh, 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 oh,